man, I'm exhausted today. I'm just gonna take a little sit. Ah, oh, relax for a second. Oh, hey, how about them lines? Hey there everybody, we're here on a windy Sunday here at the Bethlehem Steel Stacks. Oh, look how cool they look. Uh, we were here before and we actually did a vlog here before uh, that was never released. I wasn't happy with how the footage looked and it just, it wasn't how I wanted it to be so I never released it. So we're back here again to actually do the proper vlog. Uh, that was like two years ago. Uh, you know, it's pretty empty here but at least it's not raining, right? <laughs> And for those of you that don't know what the steel stacks are, they basically built and manufactured most of the steel that built America. Uh, they had a hand in building the Golden Gate Bridge as well as the Empire State Building. So they were a, a massive help. Uh, until they shut down, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, now it's sort of a, a concert hall. Um, I mean, listen, Bethlehem is just trying to revitalize this entire area because it, it sort of looks like Harlem here. Sorry if you're living in Harlem. Uh, you could agree with me, though. <laughs> it's pretty run down. Uh, so they put a casino in here. They have music and venues and big festivals here. Uh, and you can even walk up, which is what we're doing today. We can walk right up to the actual steel stacks. Oh, and over there is the Arts Quest. Uh, that's a giant uh, movie theater. I think they do some plays and stuff like that there. Sorry about the wind as well. You know, what are you going to do? It's really windy today. And we're going up, you know, so it's going to just get windier. When you get closer to it, it's insane how large this is. Um, and we're up pretty high. So, I mean, it's just, it's nuts. So Bethlehem Steel started in the 1840s. Um, they were making uh, some steel rails uh, in the 1870s, and then they switched to armor plates and guns for the U.S. Navy in the 1880s. And then in 1901, they restructured the company and turned it into a world-class steel producer. Uh, in 1904, the name was changed to Bethlehem Steel Corporation. Wow. The building in front of you served as a stock house. Oh. So I'm guessing this building. Oh, that's cool. So that was a stock house. It's funny, it was overcast and windy the last time I was here. Wow, look at that. I'm guessing that's how they got the iron up so high. I'm assuming, I don't see a plaque right here, but it'll tell us, I'm sure. Oh, those are so cool. This whole area is so beautiful too. I think they're doing a tour over here, so we're gonna try and not disturb them. You can either come to the visitor center and they will give you a tour, or you can just come and walk around on your own. Some people just walk here for fun, which if I lived near here, I probably would do the same thing. It's a nice little view. Um, but yeah, I'm just walking by myself today and reading what I can. I'm imagining these were the carts that probably brought either coal or the raw iron uh, into the sections. Um, I mean, they are massive. Look at that. Huge. Um, I mean, just pretty much everything here is huge. It's crazy. And I honestly hope they never repaint it because I sort of like the, the look, you know. Sort of reminds me of Chernobyl a little bit. Maybe that's a little dark to say, but it's, it's fun. You know, it's rustic, especially with the rust. So according to this sign, those are the old steel furnaces. Uh, the blast furnaces are going to be coming up here in a second. I think they might be right over here. Um, and we're on the trestle right now. Um, and then former ore yard is over there. That's actually really, really cool. I can't wait to show that to you guys. Um, hold up. If that's that, are the blast furnaces right here maybe? Huh. I wonder. So yeah, what this is is actually it would bring up uh, the iron ore and the limestone. Um, and then it says there was like a, a cart that would bring Coke. Um, you know, not Coca-Cola, but it, it, was, it was for a Coke oven. Um, and then three is a blast of heat. So uh, it must be the blast furnaces right here. That's pretty crazy. Whew. Just look how big this is. Like, could you imagine walking up there? Like, nuts, nutso. So according to this, this is the blast furnace, uh, which is just massive. Uh, and it could produce uh, anywhere ranging from 800 to 3,300 tons of iron per day. Um, I mean, that's nuts. Look at all the valves and everything. It's cool because this is all so authentic. You know, it wasn't really messed with or changed too much. Um, it was pretty much left abandoned. And, you know, they could have torn it down, but they did not torn it down. Why did I say torn it down? They could have torn it down. <laughs> See, that, that time I said it right. And here are those tracks I was talking about under the first walkway. 
Um, and you can see they lead all the way down. There's the old walkway that they used to have. Oh my gosh, I would not trust that for anything. Right down there, that's the uh, stage, the little concert stage, which is in a really interesting shape. I think it definitely sort of supports the idea of the steel production, and it respects that. Uh, and there's plenty of room, you know. They do a lot of uh, beer drinking and uh, fest food festivals here, uh, and a, a ton of music, just a ton of music. This is probably pretty cool at night, all lit up and everything. A really, really cool fact, and one of the first times that I ever saw the Bethlehem Steel Stacks was from Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, they actually filmed one of the first scenes here uh, with explosions and everything, and I thought it looked so cool and rustic, and I didn't even realize it was right here in Pennsylvania. And here's the clip for that. Not get out the public eye, so keep it tight. A classified strike team called Nest. Come on. Holy crow, look at the size of that wheel. That's that's insane. Um, there you can see PBS, uh, and all the way in the background is a cemetery. I'm actually wondering if some of the people that worked here at the Bethlehem Steel Mill, uh, if, you know, they were buried there, which would be sort of eerie, you know. That's, that's where the site is. I'm happy I came out today, but it is so freaking windy. It is insane. Uh, luckily, my coat is warm, but my ears are frozen. So over here, you get a pretty cool view. They, it, it comes right down to it, and you're pretty much right on the tracks again. Oh, this is this is cool, and you get to see down the whole length of it. I mean, oh, so awesome. See, I told you, I wasn't lying. I was mistaken about one of them, but I wasn't lying. You got the Golden Gate Bridge, the USS Missouri, and the Chrysler Building, which, you know, this helped build. It wasn't the Empire State Building. I mean, maybe it was, but I mean, I would, I would mention, I would mention the Empire State Building before the Chrysler Building. I'm sorry. Listen, you're just, you're not that important. Geez, there's a cool look into the, like the abandoned past. It looks like this was one of those tall structures, maybe one of the blast furnaces, and it's completely gone. Um, I mean, there's nothing around there, so I think it almost had to be where a blast furnace was. And there's a big opening here too. So, uh, wow, just crazy. No, that's that's a blast furnace right there. So I don't know what this could have been. But it was, it was something. There's so many paths that you can walk down. Um, I mean, and, and there's so much information. Like, if you leave here not knowing anything, it was your own fault. Wow. This whole complex is so big. And it's not even the whole thing. Whoa, look at that. That's where they dropped, I guess, coal, I'm imagining. Whew. That chain is pretty crazy. Um... I mean, I couldn't imagine that thing snapping like a bike chain. And here are a lot of train cars. Um, we're going to be able to get up a little higher so we can see into them. Yeah, right over here. Um, I think these held a lot of raw materials, even coal. Yeah, they're, wow, look at that. But it's just, it's so crazy that all of this is here. You know, you'd think they would tear it down and try and make something else, but I'm really, really happy they didn't. It's really empty, and it's Sunday. It could just be the weather scaring people off, but, like, this is great. Nobody's walking around or anything. You just have to check the website and make sure there's no big event going on. Even look how massive these pipes are. And they cut them, obviously. They must have gone right over here. But, like, look how massive those are. And if you come down this way, you get to see one of the coolest views of them all. Look at all these. These are incredible. Uh, that's a little disconcerting, but you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, it's, it's not like this is being used. Oh, look how crazy that is. Love it, love it so much, so cool. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see the age and uh, deconstruction that's taken place. But people used to work here, think about that. I mean, these stairs were used by thousands of hardworking men and women. I mean, that is a really, really nice view. Uh, and you get to see even the underbelly of it, which is just as impressive. Uh, and you get to walk down these uh, cool stairs, you know, it's, it's perfectly fine. Whew. It's not much walking either. Oh, let's see if we can get an even better view. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, that's an even better view. Look at that. 
Look, these pipes are cut too. Can you see anything that I can't see? <laughs> Is there like a weasel in there or something? And it looks like we'll get one more view of the cool area. Oh yeah, that's so cool. This entire area is really different than I was expecting. I mean, I've been here before, but every time it's surprising. Huh, that's not good. Eh, what are you going to do? So this is a cool little area right here, um, you know, for families to sort of hang out and kids to climb on that. Is this? Oh, yeah, this is super soft and bouncy. Bounce, bounce. Uh, you know, good. There you can see it from a little bit farther away, but uh, it's just huge. Just huge. And we were up there. Look at that. The last thing I want to see is if they have a gift shop. I think they might in the visitor center, but I don't know. We'll see. Look at that. Right back where we started. So they do have a gift shop in there. Uh, it's a bunch of books and t-shirts and like cups and mugs and wine glasses. Uh, no magnets though, which is pretty upsetting. Uh, we'll try and find one somewhere else. I'm sure somebody makes one or I'll make it myself. I'll find out a way. Uh, but this is really, really cool. I wish, you know, I wish they'd have a magnet, but you should still come out here. Uh, it's absolutely worth it. Um, uh, like I said, just check out the website. I'm leaving it in the description of this video. Um, just check it out to see if it's gonna be a good time for you to come by. If they have a music concert or something here, don't come by. <laughs> It's just gonna be crazy. I mean, come for the music concert, but if you're trying to do what I did and, and sort of walk on the trestle, uh, I wouldn't do that. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment down below where I should go next. And I guess we'll have to see what we're doing next time. Bye.